hello, I'm working in the garden today. It's gorgeous outside. So I thought I'd bring all the studio outside and have some fun. So I've already put some tissue, uh, some napkin down on this page. I'm working in my watercolour sketchbook. And now I'm going in with uh, my large charcoal. And I've sped this up because otherwise this would be an hours long. <laughs> um, and now I'm going to put some paint on. I'm starting off with uh, some of the dark colour. Oh, I've gone to go and get some more. <laughs> I'm a bit low on that. In fact, this uh, palette is looking a little bit untidy, but never mind here. Splurge of some more there. I'm using System 3 acrylics. And starting off some dark, and I'm adding some blue, so I'm, I'm starting with the dark blue. I hadn't re I'm working very intuitively on this today. I hadn't made any plans whatsoever. I hadn't thought about the colour scheme I wanted. I hadn't thought about what I'm aiming for. I'm trying to just let, let it happen. <laughs> I know I'm adding some light blue. This is cerulean blue. I need to order some more. I'm a bit low on it. It's one of my favourite colours. And I'm blending as I go. And now I'm going to go in with a roller. I like doing this. It um, stops me getting too tight at the beginning. And I'm working into that. The uh, napkin that is uh, placed down on the paper, it's wrinkling a bit, which I quite like. And I'm mixing up some uh, very pale pink. It's almost white, but it does have some, oh, it's some of the fluorescent pink I've used there. And I'm drawing with a charcoal pencil. And the bottle with the fine nozzle. It's my favourite tool. I've seen someone use one with an even finer nozzle. I'm going to have to search that out. And I'm going in with some stronger blue. It's a lovely colour. And now I'm mixing a bit of thalo in. Mm, that's a lovely colour too. <laughs> I love colour. I feel very short, uh, fortunate actually. When I was at college in Dundee, before I went to university, I had a particularly good teacher, Jean Martin, who um, studied at Glasgow School of Art, where the, um, Gla uh, the Glasgow uh, colourists all came from. And she has such a good sense of colour and she inspired me to really look into colour. So over the years I've studied it and I love it. <laughs> love it so much. So it looks like I'm going for a blue and pink, pink uh, colour scheme here. <laughs> And I'm making some scratchy marks. And now I'm going with my beloved Sennelier oil pastels. I love them so much too. Making some marks. They all might end up being co covered up in the end, but uh, they create texture. Especially because the wax is kind of resist, uh, will resist the paint on top, the water-based paint. So that if you scratch in, then you reveal those colours underneath. It's lovely. Quite like blending them with the acrylic as well. And now I'm going back in with some more of the dark. I'm just going to use that little stencil. It's got some words in about art and I quite like it. It gives the impression of text. Makes a change from me writing it on. In fact, I didn't do any writing on this one at all. 
and I'm just using um, a sponge to push it through the stencil. I don't know if you heard that, but that was my cat. Now I'm going in with some raw sienna and white to knock back some of the areas there that are a bit too harsh, I feel. Sorry, that's my cat again. <laughs> And I'm using the larger text stencil. And I'm going to use some of the raw sienna and white to make a buff titanium colour. And lots of it. <laughs> I'm sorry, my cat is still yowling in the background. She's one of those breeds that's very talkative. Oh, that's nice. I like that. And I make some more marks with my lovely white tool. I draw on some circles. Now, it would have been lovely if I'd left it at this stage, but I'm afraid I, I go and ruin it. <laughs> that's okay. It's okay. I can ruin it. I like it this stage, but then oh, I go in later and ugh, mess it up entirely. And so I sort of start painting in the circles. I don't know why I'm doing this. I am trying to work intuitively, so that's okay. That's okay, what I don't like it in the end. I think what I don't like about it is, at this stage, it's okay, but all the shapes are very uniform. It would be much better if I had larger ones and smaller ones. So I hadn't realised at this stage that I'm not enjoying it and not liking it. So I'm carrying on. But that's how I learn. Got to try things out. I love that chunky charcoal. I like those at this stage. Only I'd left it here. Perhaps got rid of some of the some of the small, uh, the um, overdone ones, and introduced some larger and smaller ones. It would have been fine. But it's the next stage, right? I think I really uh, spoil it. You'll see in a minute. this stage I start drawing around them and it's just too harsh I overdo it it would have been all right just to do one or two or three or four but not as many as I did so I left it overnight came back the next day and I missed this out I'm afraid I thought I'd switch record and I hadn't but what I did was I did the roller with white over again and now I'm going into reinforce that uh, blue area and now I'm working into it, blending the white with the blue while it's all wet. And that's got rid of those shapes that I didn't like and the harsh black that I didn't like. It's looking a lot better already. Going with a stick, scribbling in. And I'm deciding which areas I like. I quite like that left -hand, top left hand corner, that's gorgeous. And I'm trying to concentrate my, the eye on that area on the left. So I'm going to work in there now. So bring in some more of the um, buff titanium colour in. Do some blending with my fingers. I 
I quite like it when I change my mind because I end up with some lovely texture. I'm having to think a little bit more. And I'm reinforcing that darker area now, which I wanted from the very beginning. And I'm doing a bit of stamping with the corrugated cardboard. I'm bringing some more of that colour up in there. Now I'm feeling much happier about the painting now. Just drying it with a hairdryer. And bringing back the stencil I'd lost all the text I'd um, put on earlier. So mixing up some more of the buff titanium, which is raw sienna on white. It's just a bit darker than buff titanium actually. And I'm just pushing it through like I normally do with the sponge. I don't want to be perfect. Ah, that's better. That's much better. Dabbing that bit off there, that's a bit too strong. I'm much happier with that now. Phew. <laughs> I do worry when I make a mess. I think I'll never be, never be able to do a good painting ever again. You're just going to carry on with it. You can't overwork this sort of thing. It's always recoverable. And that's it the finished piece. I'm happy with that. Thank you for watching. Bye.